Hello everyone, welcome to our series. In the next few videos, we'll talk about data visualization. So we will start with one variable. In this video, we'll talk about variables and their types and how to visualize one variable data in R. I will show you how to make area, density, and dot plots, and frequent polygons, histogram, and bars. So let's start. So let's start with variables. So what is variable? Variable is a symbol used to present set of elements that can exist in different quantities or types. It has two types, continuous and discrete. Continuous variable is a numeric data. It can be integer or decimal, and it's not restricted to certain values. So it can be 1, 1.25, 2, 2.6. But in discrete variable, it's still a numeric data, but it's restricted to certain values. So we can see here 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5 is restricted. It can't be 1.56 or 1.6. So what's the difference between continuous and discrete variables? So the main difference between continuous and discrete variables is that continuous variable cannot be measured accurately. For example, time for any planet to orbit the sun. In Earth case, is 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes, 16 seconds, and it goes on picosecond and on and on. But in discrete variables, it can be measured accurately. For example, number of planets in the solar system. We have 8 planets. We can't say we have 8.5. So the range of number is incomplete in the case of continuous variable and is complete in the discrete variable. Other difference is that continuous variable can only be numeric but discrete can be numeric and categorical. Examples for continuous variable can be weight, temperature, height. For example, in temperature, we can have 37.5, 37.6, 37.57, and it goes on. For discrete variables, examples can be the number of applicants for job. It can either be 10 or 11 or 12. It can be 1.2 or 1.5, and the number of students in the class. So to be able to generate nice graphics and plots in R, we need to use specific packages. Here we are going to use ggplot2 package and it's short for grammar of graphics plot2. So first we will learn a little bit about ggplot and then we'll learn how to use ggplot to visualize one variable data. So to be able to generate a ggplot, we need to have a data. It can be a table, it can be a just one variable as we will discuss today. And we need to specify the aesthetics, the variables x and y. So if we have a table with different variables, we need to specify which variables we want to uh, put in our plot and the geometry. What type of plot do we want? Area plot, density plot, or a histogram? Also under the aesthetics, we can manage the color, size, and shape of the variable. So today we'll talk about just one variable. As we discussed, we have continuous and discrete. So for continuous variable, we can use area density dot plots, frequency polygons, and histogram. And for discrete, we can only use bar plot. So let's go and check the examples. So we are going to use a cirrhosis data from Mayo Clinic. So each column here represents a variable. So today we are going to use cholesterol as a continuous variable, edema as a discrete variable. Here a discrete, why? Because it's 0, 0 0.5 and 1. It's restricted. But cholesterol, if we go back, here is not restricted. It can be 200, it can be 231, it can be 204, and also we will use male and female. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to install and then load a ggplot2 package. Second, we need to initialize a ggplot object. So first, what we need to do, we need to specify where the data will come from. Second, the aesthetics, as I discussed, is the variable x and y. Since here we have one variable, we are saying we want the cholesterol. So since we have only one variable, it will be x and y, it will be the count. So we have the data, we specify the aesthetics. 
So now we need to specify the geometry. So if you want the area plot, we use the geom area. If you want density plot, you'll use geom density and so on. Also, there is a geom argument. So these to specify other stuff in the graph. For example, the line color, fitting color, and so on. So let's start with the area plot. We already specify the data and aesthetics and assign it to X if we go back. So now we are just going to use X and we will add the geometry area plot. So we will use this argument, stat equal bin. What does that mean? So if we have a graph here, so since we don't have a restricted variable, we can't count each one as a one. So we need to separate our graph into bins. So dividing the X axis into bins from one to 35, from 35 to 40 and more than 40. And also this here is belongs to aesthetics. So here we are telling R to fill the area with the Indian red color. So let's go to R studio and see how we do all these. So first what we need to do is we need to load the data. So first four command, they will download and load data into R. So let's start with that. So now our table is ready and we assign it to data. So second, what we need to do is we need to install and load the ggplot into R. Since I already installed it, I will just load it. So now we will go to continuous variable. So we'll start with the continuous variable. So as I mentioned before, we need to initiate a ggplot first. So to do that, we need to specify the data and the variable aesthetic. So let's start with this command. So now we have a ggplot object. Now we will just specify the geometry. So as I mentioned, we will use stat equal bin to divide or separate the graph into bins. And then we will use Indian color as a fill. So let's run this command. So now we can see here most of the cholesterol lies between zero and 500. So let's go to density plot. Density plot is similar to area plot. It just will make it a little bit smoother. We will use different color for the lines and the fill also will be light green. So let's run that. It's a little bit smooth, but similar with the area plot. So for the dot plot here, we specify the width of the dot and also specify the color. So let's run it. And here we can see the dot plot and frequency polygons. Similarly, we will just change the color, but we are going to use the geom uh, frequency polygon function. And lastly is the histogram. So in the histogram, we are going to use color for the lines and fill it will be light blue. Now in the histogram, we can add also colors to different categorical data like sex. So we have male and female. So we want to color the male different than the female. So we will add aesthetics. Here we say fill equals sex. So since we have male and female, we'll have two colors. So let's run that. And we can see here male participate less than the female in this study. So the last part is the discrete data. So it's the bar. So again, initiate a ggplot object. And we are going to use the data. So our table and here, in aesthetic, we are uh, specifying edema. So let's run it. And now here we specify orange. It will be the color. And here we are specifying the axis. And also this argument will remove the gray color from here. So let's run this command. And to save current ggplot here, you use the gg save, right plot name, and the width and the height, and it will save into your work directory. So that's it all for today. Next video will be about two variables, continuous versus continuous. Thank you for watching.